Hi guys, welcome to this today's video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a very simple dice using microbit. So when I click shake, it shows my dice number. So this is, I don't need to like shake this and go along. Just click shake. I got a 4 now. I got a 3. I got a 6. I got a 4. I got a 6. A 5. You can make like this again. So let's get to code. I go for home and create new project. But before you click new project, you have to go for the link makecode.microbit.org slash slash editor. So you have to give your project a good name. So I'm going to give my project like I would say dice tutorial. Yes. So I'm going to click create. So this is a basic start of the project. You will see two blocks. So just get rid of those. And get the input. And take on button. Oops. Not on button. On shake. So now you have to make a variable. I'm going to make my variable shake. Okay. Now we drag set shake. Now let's go for maths and take pick a random. In the first circle in the pick a random, I'm going to put 1 and in the second I'm going to put 6. So it detects the number. Now if we throw a dice randomly it goes for 1 1 numbers like 6 and then it goes for 5 and then it goes for 1 and then it goes for 2. So it picks randomly. So next we are going to show we are going to show the dice images. So take if then else and go. Let's see. We'll take some maths. Go for logic and go for comparison and take the equation mark. Then next, go for variables and take shake and put it on inside the first circle. Put one inside. I'm just going to duplicate and keep it aside. And what happens if the shake equals to 1? We are going to show. Show LED 1. Perfect. So now, we need to make more of this. Instead of dragging if then inside this else, we are going to click plus. And there comes another big triangle kind of thing. So put this duplicated one. I'm just going to duplicate it again. And put this duplicated one inside. And what happens if this equals to 2? You have to show. So duplicate again. And put this inside. So we are going to show the icon. Like 2. Yes. So keep on going like this until 5. And what happens if we put 3? Show LED. And put this inside and again click the plus put this inside whatever if we get four show the four icon I'm wondering how this four look like I guess like this because it have four sides like a square yeah again plus and duplicate Put this inside and five and again what happens if we show five LED so now we are done so what happens to the six and what happens to the space right here we are, we are about to find out so when now we are done for one two three four and five so the remaining number is six so when this picks the random now when this picks 1 and when it picks 6 and if none of these come then it goes for the remainder the else others are else if so it will go for else so duplicate and show how the 6 go so this is 6 so I'll start my simulator shake oh I got a 4 Shake, I got a 1 now. Shake. I got a 2. 
I go to six now. I got a one. I got a two. So this project is really useful for the people who are playing Monopoly, Ludo, etc. So they can make this. So and also this is very useful if their uh, dice breaks or they get lost with their dice. So this micro bit comes in handy. It comes to rescue you from playing, stop playing your games. It comes so you can power up your micro bit, download the code, and then you can play. This has a dice. So when you shake three, six, and two. So you can make some awesome projects like this. Thanks for watching my video. Click the subscribe button below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to share this video with your friends who need to know more about Microbit. That's it for today's video. Bye. See you in the next video.